Hey friends, Miss Elliot here to read you another story today. And this story is about numbers. And you have to really follow along because there are some jokes in here about numbers that you have to listen to understand. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. The title of the book is 789. So you know when you count, you say seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. Well, this is making a joke, saying seven, eight, as in eat, seven, eight, nine. So this is a mystery where a private eye is trying to figure out why the number seven would eat the number nine, seven, eight, nine. So. Is 789 The Untold Story? It is written by Tara Lazar and illustrated by Ross McDonald. So let's get started. I was dozing in my chair when an urgent banging on my office door bolted me awake. It was six. Something had scared the pants off of him. Seven is coming to get me, said six. As a private eye, I'm used to his type. Numbers. They're always stuck in a problem. But I knew about this seven fella. He was odd. Take it easy, six, I said. What is seven up to? What on the street is that seven, eight, nine? And now he's after me, said six. Well, technically, he's always after you, I said. There's five, then six, and then seven. See, that proves it. I told six not to panic. Stay here. I'll get to the root of this. I hope so, said six. I fear my days are numbered. First, I went looking for eight. She's usually caught between seven and nine. I found her at the corner of Second Avenue and Fourth Street. But eight knew nothing. Nada. Zilch. If it's true, eight said, then I'm next in line. In a flash, she took off her belt. Now eight looked like zero. I needed a solid lead. I strolled into Cafe Uno, leaned on the counter, and I ordered a slice of pie. B, the waitress, had the scoop. Yeah, I heard seven, eight, nine. She said. So you haven't seen nine around? I asked. Negative, said B. He just disappeared. So nine was gone. I couldn't let seven be the one who got away. But I needed more data. I went to see eleven. She said seven are like two peas in a pod. Seven couldn't have done it, said Eleven. He's on vacation. Are you sure? I prodded. I'm positive. I saw him leave. But if seven was gone, then where was nine? 
It didn't add up. Frustrated, I headed back downtown. That's when I saw him crossing the street. Finally, I put two and two together. I had to get back to the office. On the double, I told the driver. I busted through my office door and found six taking forty winks. I have solved this numerical nonsense, I cried. I grabbed six and turned him upside down. His true color was revealed. Just as I suspected, my client six was really nine. You had everyone worried, Nine. Why did you say that seven, eight, nine? Because seven gets all the attention. Lucky seven. Seven wonders of the world. Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Figures. Nine felt like he didn't add up. Seven, seven, seven. It's like I don't exist. Folks hurry right past me on their way to ten. Don't even get me started on ten. Everyone thinks he's perfect. I zeroed in on nine. Are you kidding? You should be on cloud nine right now. Happy as can be. The whole nine yards. How come? asked Nine. Because you've got nine lives. That's when Eleven showed up. Look who's back, she said. It was Seven. Um, stammered Nine. No hard feeling, seven, old pal. Sure, let's not be divided, seven said. Seven seemed awfully pleased for a number who had been framed. Why so happy, seven? I asked. I just sailed the seven seas. I'm in seventh heaven. At last, everyone was back in order. And now I could take letter cases again. Letters can be wordy at times, but they are a-okay in my book. The next day, while dozing in my chair, my phone bolted me awake. I'd recognize her voice anywhere. It was two, with another problem to solve. <sighs> I've really got to change my number. I liked the trick where it was six who was actually nine all along, just upside down. All right, friends, I will read you the next book next time. Happy reading!